My husband chose these colors because these was his colors when he went to high school eons ago. <laughs> so the I'm not for sure that I'm going to say this color correctly. So Abergen or Aubergen? Not sure of that. And this one is Antique Gold. Now these have been in my stash probably for about three years or four years. So let's get it out and let's use it up and let's do this tutorial. I'm going to be, it says to use a 5.5, I think, yes, a 5.5, but I'm going to use a 4.5. So if you want to do this with me, go ahead and get your cotton. I'm going to do it in two different colors because I think it looks fabulous. So get your materials. Come on back and let's start this washcloth tutorial. Okay. We're going to chain 22 chains. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. And we're going to be working in the back loop of these uh, chains. And we're going to do a single crochet in the very first loop that you see right there. We're going to go into the loop, into the stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. We're going into the next loop, hump. Go into it, all right, go into it, draw up a loop, pull through, draw up a loop, and go through two. Let's do that again, go into the loop, into the stitch, I'm sorry, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. And we're going to do that all the way to the very end. So continue doing that, and I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to finish this row, and I will be right back. Let's, in the back loop, you're going to do a single crochet all the way to the end. In the end, so I'm down here on the end, this is number 20, and this is number 21. So it doesn't matter. Um, how many chains that you do, you always need it to be in the odd number because we're going to work down to just three stitches, so it needs to be in odd. So from here we're going to chain one, we're going to turn our work, and we're going to turn around and put a single crochet in the back loop in the very first stitch. So we're going to go into the stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, draw up a loop and go through two. We're going to do that in the next stitch and we're going to do that all the way to the end. So all we're doing is putting a single crochet all the way back to this end. Continue doing that and I will be, I will see you when I'm at the end. Okay, we're down here on the end. That's number 20 and this is number 21. Each row is going to consist, I mean, each um, part is going to be two rows, okay? So now we're going to turn around and do a chain, turn, and we're going to single crochet in the very first row, a stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, and go through two. We're going to do that in the second stitch, and in each stitch going down, till the last two stitches of your um, chain. And when you get down there, I'll be right back. Okay, 
I'm going to show you in this diagram, you will be losing two stitches every two rows. So you're going to go up. When you go up, you're going to lose two stitches. But when you come down, you can have the same amount of stitches. So we started out with 22 chains. I did 21 single crochets. We came down with 21. The next row, we're going to go up with 19. We're going to turn around and we're going to have 19 to finish. Then the next one is going to be 17 because we're going to miss the last two stitches. So we're going to chain one. Let me get this out of the way. Chain one, turn your work, and do a single crochet in the very first one, and a single crochet in the next one, and a single crochet in the next one. And we're going to continue putting a single crochet all the way down to the very first chain. All right, and continue doing that, and I will be right back. Okay, I did my 19, worked right back down. So our next one is going to be 17. We're going to work up to the, for 17 stitches, but these last two we will not work in, and we'll do our 17 back. We will continue this pattern where the next row would be 15. We run back 15. The next one would be 13. We go back 13, 11, 9, 7 until we get down to where we have three stitches left. And I will come back and meet you there. All right, we're down here to where we're on our last row. So we're going to do a chain one. We're going to do one, two, three, chain one, turn, and we're going to go right back down for three, one, two, and in the third one, we're going to start a single crochet, but we're going to stop there, and I apologize for that, and we're going to pick up our next color. We're going to pull it through our next color to finish that single crochet. We're going to chain one. We're going to pull this down a little bit and pull that down a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the maroon off and I'm going to weave it in. All right, and I'm going to lay this to the side. Now basically, it's the same thing as we did right here. We need to put 21 single crochets in this, but as you can see, we only have 20, so in, in between these are, it'd be 1, 2, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So we're going to have to add an extra one somewhere. It doesn't matter where you put that extra one as long as you put it in there. So what I'm going to do is chain one and in this very last uh, row, I'm going to put a chain, a single crochet in that right there. Now it's going to look a little wonky, but it's going to work out. So you're going to be doing you're going to do the top, you're going to work this stitch, and then you're going to work this stitch right beside it. Okay, so I got one, and I'm going to go in right underneath that row. We'll pick that up, and that's two. I'm trying to bury my... So we're going to do three. So anywhere you want to put your extra chain, feel free to do it four. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and do it right here. No, I'm going to wait till the end. That's four. That's five. 
there's six. There is seven. And then we'll pull them back. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. And my twenty-first is going to land in that very first um, single crochet we started at the very beginning. We're going to put it in there. It's kind of tough, but you can get it in there. So that's going to be twenty-one stitches. All right. That's the way it should look like, like that. Looks good. All right, so we're going to turn around and do the same process we did on the first one. We're going to run up. This was 21. We're going to do 21. We're going to turn around and go back down, and we're going to turn around and come up. It's going to be 19. Go down, 17, down, 15. So I'll do the first row with you. So we're going to chain one going to turn our work and we're going to go down in the very first stitch and we're going to make a single crochet and that's one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Whoops, a bead. 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn, we're going to go all the way back down for 21. Then we're going to come up and we're going to do 19. Go all the way down for 19, turn our work, we're going to go up for 17, go all the way down, and all you're doing is repeating this until you come down to a 3. And when I get down to 3, I'll come back and show you how, what it looks like. Sorry about that. Alright, here we are down here with our 3 again. We're going to chain 1, and we're going to finish this row with 3. Single crochets, one, two, and remember in the third one, we're going to start a single crochet. We're going to lay it down. We're going to pick up our color that we did here. I'm going to leave me a good little tail there. I'm going to pull it through and do a chain. Give both of these a little tug and like we did on the other side I'm going to start right down in that very one that we just came out of and do a single crochet give it a tug again because it does pull out a little bit we can go into that one that's two Oops. Three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get this one out of the way. Oh, I didn't cut it off, did I? Okay, get that out of the way. That was ten. And I'm going to go ahead and push it to the back. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, oops, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then we're going to go where our very first line was and put our 21st stitch in there. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go back up this row for 21 stitches. We're going to go back down for 21 stitches. Then we're going to go up for 19, down for 19, up for 17, down for 17. And we will continue until we get down to 3. Go ahead and do that. And then I will come back and show you how we do the final square or triangle. All right? All right. So I'm down here. I did my 1, 2. I'm going into my last or the third pull through and I'm going to hold it because we're going to switch back to the um, gold color. We're going to pull through chain one. That chain one locks it in. We're going to get this a cut. We're going to get rid of this color. That string up here. All right. This is going to be the trickiest part of the whole thing, but it's going to be really, really easy. All right. We're going to put these two together because we're going to uh, stitch them in. So we're going to go right back down in that one we just finished and do one. Pull my glasses down. Two, three, four. Remember, we need twenty one. That's four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and into that one stitch is 21. All right, so to get to the other side, 
we have to slip stitch going up the side. And let me, what happened? So, okay. So now we gotta go, we gotta slip stitch. There's gonna be 21 stitches here. So we have to go up the side. So you're gonna go into the your color over here. I don't think that's right. Give me one minute, I'll be right back. All right, let's see if this works. So what I was saying is we have to slip stitch over here on the side. But remember we did uh, worked in the back, so we've got B stitches. So we're gonna continue doing that. So you're gonna go into the back of the first one and do a slip stitch. Might be a little tight, but you can get there. We're gonna do one slip stitch. We're gonna go into the next one and we're gonna do a slip stitch in that. We're gonna pull through. We're gonna turn our work. We're going to skip two and we're gonna go into the third one and we're gonna continue with our single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. So I did it right because I ended on twenty-one. All right. We're gonna chain one, turn our work, We're going to do the 21 stitches again and we're going to slip stitch in the next two. So there's one and there's two. We're going to turn our work and we're going to come back and start in that one right there. So let's do that. One, two, three. over here into the next next V stitch that you see work a slip stitch into the back loop for one and a slip stitch in the back loop for two turn your work we're going to skip one two one two and into the third we're going to start with 19 of them now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and there's 19. So that worked out because we got two stitches left. We're going to chain one. Now all you're going to do is do 19, slip stitch into the two, turn around, go up 17, come back down 17, slip stitch in the next two, and continue on until you get up there and I will meet you right back there. Alrighty, I'm down here on my end. I just did my one, two, three. I chained one, turned my work. I'm going to do one, two, three, and I'm going to do this very last, um, it's the very first one we did, but it's the very last one, and it's going to be tight because we're doing it in reverse now. So. Work your way into it. And should be able to get into there. Well, I just didn't. All right. There you go. Got in there, pull it up, and make a slip stitch. All right. Now, if you wanted to, this is what it looks like. Look how pretty that is. Okay, this is what the front side looks like. That's what the back side looks like. Now this could be a hot pad. Now we ain't finished yet, guys. Don't panic. We're not finished yet. So it depends on what color you want to do your outside go ahead and attach it right here or otherwise you can just go ahead and start doing what I'm gonna do here so I'm going to chain one all right so in the top of these, we're going to do a single crochet. And I swear that never looks right. Okay. 